Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the George W. Norris Legislative Chamber for the 22nd day of the 108th Legislature First Session. Our chaplain today is a guest of Senator Decay, Pastor John Nelson Jr. of the Christ Lutheran Church from O'Neill, Nebraska. Please rise. Dear God, Heavenly Father, the giver of all good gifts, we thank you for the opportunities of a new day. We come before you this day to ask your blessing upon the work of this assembly. We thank you for the gifts and skills of all our senators. Bless them with a spirit of cooperation based on what is best for the people of Nebraska. Thank you for all the support staff who assist the smooth operation of government in our state. We are truly blessed in Nebraska with a diversity of talents, even as our state is diverse in its bounty of resources. Grant your favor upon all the branches of our government, our unicameral, our governor, and our judicial system. Protect and uphold all those who are entrusted to enact and carry out the laws of our state. We thank you for the freedoms we enjoy. Even this time of prayer is one of the blessings of those freedoms. We humbly ask your continued blessing upon us as we serve you and one another. Grant success to all God-pleasing commerce in our state. We ask that you would give us favorable weather and protection from storms and calamity. In your mercy, please bless us with more rain and less snow. We entrust ourselves in this day to your divine protection and mercy. May all that we do this day honor you and your will for our lives and our state. Make us quick to listen slow to speak, and rich in understanding and compassion. Respecting all faiths here present, I humbly offer this prayer in the precious and holy name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Nelson. I recognize Senator Kauf for the Pledge of Allegiance. Colleagues, please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I call to order the 22nd day of the 108th Legislature first session. Senators, please record your presence. Roll call.
Mr. Clerk, please record. There is a quorum present, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Are there any corrections for the journal? No corrections this morning. Are there any messages, reports, or announcements? Mr. President, there are. I have a report of registered lobbyists for the current week, as required by statute. An announcement the various agency reports have been filed electronically and are available on the legislature's website. I have notice of committee hearings from the Revenue Committee, the General Affairs Committee, the Urban Affairs Committee, Transportation, Telecommunications, Agriculture, Judiciary, Education, and Natural Resources, as well as a notice of, from the Appropriations Committee. In addition, amendments to be printed. Senator Hunt to 606. And to LB 371, Senator Walls to 517. I have reports from the Transportation and Telecommunications Committee regarding gubernatorial appointments. In addition, the Transportation Telecommunications Committee refer, reports Legislative Bill 136 to general file, 138 to general file, 140 to general file, 247 to general file, and a uh, series of name ads, Senator Dover to LB 31, Senator Harden to LB 64, N65, Senator Day to LB 80, Senator Hunt to 274, Senator Slama to 274, Senator Aguilar to 274, Senator Harden to 419, Senator Blood to 588, Senator Ben Hansen to 588, Senator Sanders to LB 712, Senator Brewer to 805. Senator Geist would like to recognize Dr. George Voigtlander, who's serving as the family physician of the day. Please recognize Senator Voigtlander. Speaker Arch for an announcement. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, colleagues. It's Friday um, for my uh, end of the week wrap up announcement here what's coming next week first of all i want to thank you very much for your hard work this week uh, we had a very full schedule with hearings all day and in some cases evenings we also had some very difficult hearings on issues with with uh on issues that senators felt very strongly about with passionate testimony from the public as well and that has been really our first two weeks of of committee meetings Next week, Monday, is a recess day, and I would encourage you to recharge and get some rest. And uh, Tuesday through Friday next week, we'll resume our last week of all-day hearings. Thank you, too, for continuing to pursue our goal of maintaining respect for each other and the process during these hearings. I know it's not been easy. Given the topic of the bills in some of these hearings, we've all been tested. We will need to keep reminding ourselves of this goal throughout the session as we continue to deal with some very difficult issues. So I, I thank you for that and encourage you to keep that in the front of your mind. So thank you again for your hard work this week, and we'll see each other again next Tuesday at 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Clerk. Mr. President, the Reference Committee will meet in room 1525 upon completion of the Executive Board's public hearing today. Finally, a priority motion, Senator Kalth, would move to adjourn until Tuesday, February 7, 2023, 9 o'clock a.m. The question is, shall the legislature adjourn for the day? All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, nay. We are adjourned.